Hi Kindergarten, today we're going to come to review some of our sight words of the week. This week we're going to review five, and I would love if you guys could each week try to pick out four to five new words to review at home, and you could hunt for these in your stories, you could play hide and go seek with these words, you could do shaving cream, you could do rainbow writing, any way to make it fun and just keep practicing because that's how you'll get to be a better reader as well, okay? So I'm gonna say the words first and introduce them and then we're gonna try to chant these words in a fun way together before we use them in a sentence, all right? So we have these words, that, where, come, is, and go. Let's say them again slowly, ready? That, where, come, is, and go. Great job, guys. Let's do the first word. This first word, is that, that, T-H-A-T. -A -T. We're gonna try to chant this word like a mouse. This is called mouse talk. It says, put your hands close to your face and chant the letters in a high, squeaky voice. So I'm gonna do this way. What you guys could do is go, and you can even cut both hands, and you're gonna try to make your squeaky voice like a mouse, and you're gonna try to say these letters with me. Here we go, T-H-A-T. That. Let's say it again, ready? T-H-A-T, -A -T, that. Very good. All right, here we go, here comes another word. This word is where, where. A lot of times we can use this word in an asking sentence, W-H-E-R-E, -E, where. All right, we're gonna do the alligator clap, which is we're gonna make an alligator mouth with our hands, and um, each letter is gonna be a chomp, and then at the end, we're gonna do one big chomp, for the whole word, all right? So it's where, here we go. W-H-E-R-E, -E. really big chomp, where. Let's try it again, ready? W-H-E-R-E, -E. where, great job. Okay, here comes our next word. This word is come, C-O-M-E, come. All right, let's do the turtle talk for this one. We're gonna say the words, uh, letters really slowly, and then at the end, we're gonna read it very slowly. Are you ready? C-O-M-E, come. Very good, let's try it again. C-O-M-E, come. Very good. All right, let's do the next one here. We have this word, is, is. And when we do this, we're gonna do a ride in cowboy, which is where we're going to sit back in our chair, or if you're sitting on a rug, you can just sit nice and tall. We're gonna pretend to lasso like a cowboy. Each letter goes over our head. Then we're gonna try to swing and reach for that um, calf. And when we pull that calf in, we're gonna say the whole word. So it's gonna look like this, ready? Over your head, I, S. Swing it that way, now you're gonna pull. Is, do it again. I, S, swing it. Is, very good guys. Our last word that we're gonna practice is the word go. G-O spells go. And this is a fun one, your parents might even know. This one's called Disco Fever, Disco Fever. So if they've ever heard of that song, Stay Alive, they'll know it. You can ask them about it, then maybe we'll show you the dance. We're gonna start dancing like Saturday Night Fever. We're gonna put our hand up when we chant the consonant, and we're gonna put our hand down when we say the vowels. So in this word, we only have two letters, and G is a consonant, and O is a vowel. So it's gonna look like this. G, O. We're gonna do it again, ready? G, O, other side. G, O, G, O, go, 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 go. G, O, G, O, go, go. Go, go, and they can teach you the real words to that song later, but that's a fun way to practice it. All right, now, let's try to use these words, and as we look at these sentences, you guys are gonna be able to help me see which sight word fits best. All right, so it says, blank are you going? Blank are you going? And there's our question mark. So which sight word fits best here? Blank are you going? Hmm, let's take a look. Sorry about my dog, guys. He must see another doggy out there. So what do you guys think? That are you going? Where are you going? Would it be come are you going? Is are you going? Or go are you going? Hmm, I bet you've already said it. 
The word is where. Where are you going? All right, the next sentence, you guys are doing very well. Please put blank toy away. Please put blank toy away. And we see our period there. Which sight word fits best here? Please put blank toy away. Please put that toy away. Please put where toy away. Please put come toy away. Please put is toy away. Or is it please put go toy away. Which one makes the best sense or fits the best in the sentence? Please put that toy away. Very good. Please put that toy away. Awesome job, guys. Let's do our new sentence. And this one says, will you blank to dinner? This is a question, an asking sentence. We see our question mark. Let's say it again. Will you blank to dinner? Hmm. Which one would make sense? Will you that to dinner? Will you wear to dinner? Will you come to dinner? Will you is to dinner or will you go to dinner? Which one makes sense? Actually, there's two. There's a, it's actually a trick question. There's two that make sense. Did you find out which ones? This one could fit. Will you come to dinner? If they're inviting you, will you come to dinner? And the other word is, will you go to dinner? Will you go to dinner? Oh, so both of those words could fit. Good job practicing and reviewing these sight words, guys. Remember to make it fun and try to review and take some time out each day to practice these sight words.